Hey, Stroke Lines. In this video on Auto Hockey Studio, we're going to demonstrate how you can um, change your context menu, which is, of course, the right click. And basically, everything above this first line here, these are things that you can change. You, your menu probably looks a lot different than mine because I've already customized mine. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how that's done. So I can just, right here, it says Edit Menu, right? Um, so I'm going to edit it. And then uh, at first it's a little confusing, but what you got to understand is this part right here, these are telling you how to do it. This step up here is which menu, which window, basically control or when you, window you're on or menu, but um, it's, it's which window you're on. So right now I'm on the scintilla one. If, um, if I, this is the project explorer, right? So if I want to affect that right click, this is what would affect that one. If I'm looking at the debug menu down here, it'd be this one. I don't have a toolbar up and I don't have track notes, but the scintilla window, that's the main one. And um, I only use a few things when I right click, so I like to clean this thing up. And there's some cool ones I like, like open folder, um, copy file path. Those are, um, and it copies it to the clipboard. And uh, previous scripts I've run and then publish. So basically what you do is come over in here and search around what you want to have in it. First, I recommend is remove what you don't want, which is probably a lot of stuff, right? It's just noise and, and you'll probably never use it. Um, and then go through here and when you find something you want, let's say I want an open on there for some reason, that's where you look here and say add selected. So Alt-A, Alt-A will add it um, to my menu. So you notice it pop up here and actually, you know, I'm gonna say now, I'm actually, I don't want that. So I'm gonna hit Alt-R, I highlight it and hit Alt-R and we'll remove it. Um, so it's that easy. You can go through and, and look at everything you like and what you don't like. Um, and it's just a super easy way to, to, it takes a couple minutes to set up, but once you do, you can really customize the studio to be the way you want it to be, what works best for you. Um, so I, I highly recommend you spend a little time looking around and seeing what you like and don't like and um, make it, it's just, it makes it a lot faster when you're actually doing stuff. So um, that's it. I hope you adjust those things and have a great day. Thanks.